Hi, I'm Dr. Joe and I am to lovethatface.com and hopefully you're familiar with our video channel because we've got a ton of videos on YouTube and you know that all I do is cosmetic facial surgery. The only place I do it's from here to here and I don't do boobs, bellies, and butts. Um, facelift procedures are my favorite procedure, but I've got a ton of videos out there on everything else, eyelids, facial implants, laser, moles, uh, brow lift, you name it, we have videos. And what I've been doing lately since we have so many videos and I'm constantly seem to be um, communicating with uh, viewers of my channel, I've been doing a little series here where I answer questions. So the question I got today that I thought I would answer is, Dear Dr. Joe, what are festoons and how are they treated? And that's a great question, Marjorie, who sent that in. And basically, what we call festoons are the crinkly, wrinkly little skin pouches that you get kind of a, at the junction of your cheek and your eyelid. Now, this isn't to be confused with fat bags or wrinkled skin under your eyelids. This is actually lower. So it's, again, at the junction of the lower lid and the upper cheek. And this can sometimes be a hereditary. Uh, some people, you know, the, it's passed on in their, in their genetics. And some people that have uh, extreme sun damage or other types of uh, uh, exposure, uh, you know, wind exposure and people who do a lot of driving may get them and some people just get them, all right? Some people have little minor festoons and some people have really big uh, wrinkled pockets there. So in the old days, um, before I got into cosmetic surgery, the only way you could treat these was to excise them. And of course, when you cut something out, you have a scar. Well, in this day and age of really predictable lasers, we can laser these and they usually go away. So what does the laser do? Well, the laser actually burns off successive layers of the skin, and it's very controlled. It's very So the laser is a very scientific treatment because a, a given uh, laser beam on a CO2 laser focused at the proper depth will penetrate um, 100 microns into the skin. So we can really just shave off this extra skin, and then when you burn the skin, this causes collagen to form and the skin gets tighter. So when we laser these festoons, uh, on some people we'll laser their whole face and then do extra passes on the festoons. But I have a lot of patients that have just festoons and usually on those patients we're doing upper and lower lids. So we're lasering their lower eyelids and we're lasering the festoons. So when you burn off this uh, old wrinkled pigmented skin, then new what I call baby butt skin grows back and it flattens these areas and Im improves the appearance. On many patients, just a single treatment will take care of that. However, on patients with severe festoons, I might do a treatment and then three months later, go back and just under local anesthesia, touch it up. So I think this is one of the big advances of laser resurfacing has been the treatment of festoons. I have a lot of other videos out there on eyelid surgery, so I'm not gonna get um, very deep into that other than to say that the upper age, uh, upper face ages quicker than the lower face, so it's not uncommon that we're doing eyelid surgery on uh, patients in their 40s on up. And uh, occasionally, people have hereditary skin or fat excess or wrinkling, and we're doing them at a younger age. In any event, I'm answering Margie's questions about festoon treatment. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm Dr. Joe Niam, too. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niam to CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com and whether you're a student or resident studying cosmetic facial surgery uh, or a beginning practitioner or a seasoned practitioner, we all know that we don't have enough time to learn the latest advances in cosmetic facial surgery. Uh, I have my new video series, Volume 2, that is out at CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com and I have made step-by-step 
narrated videos in a cookbook fashion that are high definition and you can preview these and download them from my website so you own the videos and you can view them 24 7. I have tried to utilize the most common cosmetic facial surgery topics including but not limited to a brow and forehead lift, uh, eyelid surgery, cheek implants, chin implants, uh, laser resurfacing, chemical peeling, minimally invasive or weekend facelift, comprehensive facelift, uh, mole and lesion removal, and many other topics. If you have an interest in contemporary cosmetic facial surgery and like to see a step-by-step -step narrated, easy-to-learn version that you can view at your convenience, visit CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com to preview my videos. I'm Dr. Joe Niamtu. Thanks for your time.